African Americans and other people of color have been elected to public office in much greater numbers since the days of Martin Luther King Jr. At new at 630, political editor John Delano shows us why many black leaders say it's still a journey. The House stands The 118th tomorrow. Congress has 133 members of color, one quarter of all its members, with a record number of people of color in the state legislature. Pennsylvania's first black lieutenant governor, a black mayor of Pittsburgh, and the state's first black woman in Congress. We as a society, we are becoming far more pluralistic. We are becoming far more inclusive in our, our way of life. Um, and as a result of that, we are becoming far more tolerant. Pitt law professor Jerry Dickinson calls it, quote, extraordinary, the number of people of color elected to office since the days of Dr. King. But he adds, to what extent can we start to minimize subconscious racism? That is, when people don't explicitly mean to be racist, but they do certain things or they enact policies that have the effect of harming another minority group. And I think we still need uh, to work on that. But that being said, there's no doubt there's been a decline in racism. Representative Arian Abney, a 34-year-old recently elected to the state house from Pittsburgh, credits young black activists in pushing politics in the right direction. We are finally moving closer to bringing black and brown folks out of the margins and out of the shadows and into access to opportunities. Uh, we are finally moving a little bit closer to being able to uh, push for policies that can end syst systemic racism and oppression. Racial inequities and, and systemic injustice is something that we experience every single day, uh, even in the days where it's not in your face, right? The vestiges of it, the legacy of it is still persistent. One solution, says Congresswoman Summer Lee, greater diversity in government. We need people who uh, will represent the diverse perspectives. Um, as the first black woman, we know that there is an entire demographic of people in Pennsylvania who have never, ever had representation. Dr. King once said, the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. While Pennsylvania has a ways to go, especially when it comes to women in politics, most would say it's bending in the right direction. John Delano, KDKA News.